Anyone from age 50 years to 80 years who has a 20-pack year history should be screened for lung cancer. Symptoms of lung cancer, it may mean that the cancer is a little more advanced, but the things to look out for would include cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, coughing out blood, weight loss, fatigue, night sweats, voice hoarseness. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and it's important to talk about it so people can know if they have risk factors that can place them at a higher risk for lung cancer so they can come up for screening. So the low-dose CT scan is the screening modality for lung cancer. The aim of doing the test is to detect lung cancer at an early stage where it could be potentially curable. So it's a quick, painless test where the patient comes in, has a scan within a few minutes, and goes home, and then we call them and let them know if the CT scan looks good or if there's any evidence of cancer. My initial CT scan did not light up the little dot in my lung. It lit up something in the back of my throat. So I go in for another scan, and that's when I go in to see my general practitioner, and she goes, I got good news and bad news. The thing in the back of your throat didn't light up, but the thing in your chest did. So I went to see Dr. Shalice, and he says, we need to get this taken care of. My name is Chris Emerson. Um, I've worked for Columbia Gas of Virginia for 35 years. This is my wife, Robin. I was diagnosed with lung cancer in October of 2019. When I lived in Midlothian, I saw a general practitioner. Her concern was I was a prior smoker. She thought I should have a baseline uh, CT scan, chest scan. And there was a, a little blip that showed up and they said, well, we'll see what it looks like next year. Each year or two years, whenever I would get the chest scan, um, it didn't increase in size until <laughs> October of 2019. The chest scan came back and it was not a great deal larger, but it was larger and everybody was concerned. If your low-dose CT shows a nodule or a mass or an enlarged lymph node that may suggest cancer, here at Riverside, the pulmonologist will talk to you, will talk about the best approach to biopsying it, whether it's through a bronchoscopy or a CT-guided biopsy or even surgery. And if it comes back positive for cancer, we have multidisciplinary meetings here with the oncologist and the surgeons where we decide on the best approach for that patient. So I was diagnosed approximately October 2019. The thoracic surgeon wanted to know when I would like to do the surgery, and I wanted to push it off until after um, the first of the year. And he said, I'd rather not do that. He goes, I'd rather get it out as soon as possible. So scheduled the surgery for um, November 20th. Because it was so small, I didn't have to undergo any sort of chemotherapy or radiation therapy. I've had a lung scan since, and it's clear. Don't delay your testing because of COVID. Here at Riverside, we make every effort to make the patients feel comfortable and safe. So the patient can stay in the car pending the test, and then when they come in, they can stay in the waiting room and they're socially distanced. The machine is completely wiped down before and after use and everyone has a mask when they're approaching the patient. So it's very safe to come in. It was a, a pretty amazing process. I, I have been involved, either myself or a family member, in, in care in different hospitals in the area. And this was by far the nicest stay of any of, of my experiences. The, everybody was just so attentive. I raved she about raved it at the about time. Riverside. <laughs> the, the nurses and the staff. I it mean, was fantastic.